Hey friends, it is me Alana. Welcome back to my channel. For this video, I'm going to be doing my goals for 2024. I'm also going to be doing my beginning of the year TBR slash like January TBR as well. My initial goal for like reading wise, I'd like to read at least 100 books this year. I set my goal to 50 because sometimes when I set my goal lower it's easier for me to reach like my high achieving goal if that makes sense. Um, but also again my goal is to read down my TBR which I think I did a really good job of last year. Um, I really didn't buy any books and I was reading a lot of books from my unread shelves even th even when they were packed up but I was also doing a good job of just borrowing my books from the library or like getting them on audible or something um using credits so I didn't really spend and to be honest girl math the credits are free since I want to read down my fairy loot books as well so I've been a fairy loot subscriber for a very long time and last year I just kind of got out of whack with in regards to reading them so this year I want to focus more on getting those read and just like getting rid of the ones that I don't really like even though they're pretty and keeping the ones that I do like um I'd love to again grow my channel more this year get my consistency back on track and just get back to it because I do enjoy making videos it's just the getting myself to be able to sit down and not be tired after work to film the videos that I struggle with a lot um, and then the other thing, so I'm going to be doing, I want to do more yearly reading challenges, so I'm doing the buzzword challenge, and I have some other ideas for some challenges that I want to do that I created myself that I will talk more about once I make those videos. So those are, like, essentially my goals. I want to read more nonfiction this year. I think Chanel and I are going to try and work on that, and then my other goal is to... Um, make more vlogs this year. I'm gonna focus more on trying to do reading vlogs and just like short and sweet and they don't have to be super intense or super like aesthetically pleasing all the time. I just want to read my books and talk about my books. Moving on, um, we are moving on to my TBR. So I am going to do the 24 books in 2024. Um, though, I'm, though I haven't settled on what the 24 books will be so I'm not going to talk about those in detail yet but I do have a beginning of the year TBR that I'm going to be focusing on for January and probably like February and March essentially kind of like a seasonal TBR but just beginning of the year for those uh the ones I put on I only put like six on this list because I wanted it to be short but I put six books that I had been really wanting to get to um, for a while or some of them are anticipated releases overall so the first book I have on this list is House of Flame and Shadows by Sarah J Moss this is the third book in the Crescent City series this is coming out January 20 no nope, January 30th so I'm really nervous and excited about this I think it's going to be either a hit or a miss for me it's definitely going to be a deal breaker on whether or not I'm going to keep reading Sarah J Maas at all. So next I have The Wishing Game by Meg Schaefer. Um, I saw the synopsis and I thought it sounded kind of good and really touching in a way. It's about this lady who had a really neg neglectful childhood and so she's a teacher's aide and she decides that she wants to adopt this little boy um, but she doesn't have the money to be able to do that and so she joins this competition that's been created by like one of her favorite like I think children's authors or just authors in general and the prize like I guess the prize is like money that she can use to like support this little boy um and so she joins but it just sounded really touching the initial synopsis itself so I figured why not the next one I have on this list is Divine Rivals by Rebecca Ross. So many people have really enjoyed this book and I've heard so many things so I want to give it a try and see if I could like it. Um, I don't really know much about what it is. I think it's, so far from what I know it's about like two 
rival journalists who like fall in love and it has some fantastical elements that's kind of all I know but I'm really really intrigued just by how much people have have enjoyed it overall so next I have Howl's Moving Castle by Diane Wynne Jones so I love the Studio Ghibli movie and I thought it was finally time to go ahead and get, read the book since the movie was inspired by the book and I just want to see if there are any like differences within the book from the movie if that makes sense. So next we have A Study in Drowning by Ava Reed. I have no idea what this is about. I saw the cover and thought it was, it was really pretty so this is essentially a cover want to read essentially. <laughs> So yeah, and I've heard a lot of people interested in it too, so. The last book I have on this list is The Enchanted Hacienda. Um, I have no idea what this is about. I saw the cover of this book and I thought it was really pretty. And then I saw someone say that it was Encanto inspired and I really love that movie. So that's the only reason why I was very intrigued to read it. And I'm just going to go in with that. Those are the six books that I'm going to be trying to re be reading for the beginning of this year. And then as for my January TBR, um, I just put uh, A Study in Drowning on there um, because, so like I said earlier, my goal is to read down some of my fairy loop books. And so I've decided to do a fairy loop book a month within my TBRs. And so A Study in Drowning was a fairy loop book that I received. Um, in my subscription box, so that's gonna count as one of my fairy is my fairy loop book for the month of January. Um, and then I want to do the Enchanted Hacienda, Divine Rivals, and then House of Flame and Shadows. Um, my nonfiction pick with Chanel is gonna be Sex Cult Nun by Faith Jones. And then um, my buzzword is going to be Castle in Their Bones by Laura Sebastian. Um, I cannot remember what this is about, to be honest, but I remember I really, really wanted to read it when it came out, so I'm just going to go off that feeling. And then the last one I have that's like a kind of planned is Hurricane Wars. I am doing a little, it's not really a secret project, but it's a project I don't really want to talk about yet. And this is one of the books that's going to be on my list to check out. And it's also a fairy loop book that I received. So it also kind of helps me narrow down my TBR again. It's by Thea Guanzin. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put that on my list as well for my secret project. That's not really a secret, but I don't want to talk about it. So yeah, so that is this video. <laughs> Those are my goals and then my TBR. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I need to work on my shelves, which is why this is just the background you're probably going to get for a bit. And yeah, um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like the video, please like it down below. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, please leave all that in the comment section. And if you want to see more videos from me, please hit that subscribe button. You are awesome flowers in the world full of weeds.